One thing I've noticed through the years, if you're standing up looking down after you've dug up seed, a lot of times the angle that you're staring at or looking at uh, the depth from will give you an inaccurate measurement. There's some tools that Pioneer offers, some seeding depth tools. A couple of those are very helpful, helping you accurately measure that depth. And it's important to do it not just one time, but at various uh, stages throughout the planting season. And especially if you change from one field to the next with varying soil conditions, whether that's tillage, uh, soil type, residue, uh, time of day, a lot of different things can have a factor in what that actual planting depth is depending on which field you may be in. So I'm going to cover a few of those and show you a couple of key things that will help you make sure that you're doing it accurately. Again, to measure inaccurately is to measure nothing. So you'll notice as we go down through here and look at these rows that there's a slight berm of dirt on either, either side of the row. Notice right here where the planter ran, where the double disc opener, and then up above that is a slight little berm where those discs push the dirt away on either side. That can cause a little bit of an issue when trying to determine planter depth, and typically what I find is a lot of times guys will misguess what their planting depth is due to these little berms of dirt like you see right here. Okay, here's where the, the double disc opener ran, here's the berm created. So to do this correctly, what we want to do is take our hand on either side of the row and just move back a little bit of that loose soil to where you're actually even with where the double disc opener ran. Notice how I've done that, made that somewhat of a flat surface, if you will. So we can look at and gauge what the actual planting depth is right in this area. You can notice in this example right here, I've taken and moved the dirt back away from the sides that was opened by the double disc openers right here and right here. And as I move that loose soil back away and got down to the trench where the seed is, that's about oh, approximately two and a half inches using these great Pioneer measures. Notice what happens, however, when you don't move the soil back away and you're looking at uh, a seed that's planted down in the trench without the loose soil on the edges created by the double disc openers, you get a, a different measurement. It's actually three inches here instead of about two and a half. One other misconception that I run into quite frequently is where guys will say, oh yeah, oh, that's about three inches planting depth. But in all due reality, when you add uh, the Pioneer measuring sticks and you lay one across the row, with that loose soil move back away, it's about two inches, which is ideal planting depth for this part of the world. Aids in great root development, good consistency, good standability, uh, good drought tolerance, heat tolerance. A lot of positive things with root development when you plant corn at two inches. So again, folks, it's all about consistency. Accurate planting depth, accurate spacing, uh, making sure you're using the right tools and measuring correctly to make sure that your planting depth is at the optimum level. Two inches being what we recommend in this part of the world. Helps develop great root systems, good, uh, good standability, good drought tolerance, and a lot of positive benefits. Great uh, roots also aid in development or, or uptake of nutrients and help plants survive stressful situations. So a lot of good things if you take the time to measure correctly. I had an old agronomist tell me to measure incorrectly is to measure nothing. So if you haven't talked to your local rep about getting a set of these wonderful Pioneer measuring tools to use during planting, call him today and see if he can't help you out. Hope this helps. Y'all have a great and safe planting season. Thank you for your business. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.